On the 24th of October, I had to overcome the biggest challenge of my life. I survived three strokes. A few pain in my head. Okay. But uh, I'm alive, so... Yes. Sarah, Sarah saved me. You are a survivor and you are a warrior. I spent 23 days at the hospital without being able to see my eight months old daughter Lucia and being able to see Sara, my wife, for only one hour a day. It's so good uh, to feel the, the sun on my skin. It's over two weeks. Uh, <laughs> it's incredible how you can enjoy little things like this uh, so much <laughs> although luca's recovery was miraculous and quick we know the path ahead of us is still long when he left with the ambulance he was unconscious and i thought i would never speak with him again when he woke up the whole left side of his body was paralyzed and numb that night, our lives changed forever. We developed a new and deeper appreciation of life and a newfound personal strength. Very good, it is so emotional to see and to watch. Bravo, Mare. Here you go. For the past five years, Sara and I were used to live 24-7 together in extreme conditions. We became a strong team after facing so many challenges. It's not only about surviving winter storms in Alaska, but also overcoming everyday hurdles. After three weeks, Luca was walking again without assistance, and now we are slowly trying to go back to our normal life and routine. Good morning, beautiful people! Welcome back to You Live Everything and Wonder and welcome back to Lucky Land, uh, our little house uh, here in the north of Italy, in Piedmont, uh, in the Alps. Uh, and uh, after one month uh, in the hospital, we are finally able to come and uh, be here again. Uh, so. And I enjoy this paradise. It's very true when you are not leaving something for a long time or you're not seeing a person for a long time then you really miss you miss everything so now after one month in torino it's beautiful to be back home the three of us together yes, we can really enjoy the silence uh, yes. how quiet it is uh, how nice it is to have uh, a place uh, just for yourself and also the air here is so pure so you can breathe yes it's beautiful and plus uh, it's beautiful because we are using the solar panel we are using the solar electricity the batteries and uh, doing a lot of beautiful things uh, and uh, nature is changing uh, the colors are changing uh, yeah, it's autumn you can see all the orange the vibrant green red yellow everywhere we arrived here a few days ago and then we did our live stream and then on monday we went back to torino because luca needs to be checked and uh, he needs to do the blood test to check the uh, inr levels yeah the level of the anticoagulant uh, in my yes. blood uh, the uh, how fluid uh, my blood is uh, so here are the images good morning beautiful people good morning guys today is monday yesterday we had our live stream if you miss it uh, it's available you can go and check it out uh, and uh, it's really early in the morning we are going to the hospital in torino we already have uh, the car heating up uh, outside Wow, 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 wow. Three degrees uh, Celsius. So it's freezing. The car is nice and warm. Thank you. My loves. Thank you. Ci passo dall'altra? No. Luca is entering the hospital. We arrived in Torino. It's 7.30, Lucia is 
to be big. Right now. And I will take advantage of this time and I will go to buy some groceries. So I don't know if there is something open now. Probably there is a 24-7 grocery store. I can go there and then I will wait for Luca and then when Luca is done, at 10 a.m. this morning I have a massage. So it's not a classic massage. It's more, you know, kind of shatsu, holistic therapy. So it will also help me with uh, the trauma I lived. So last week I did one and it was amazing. I felt immediately better. So I'm trying to do everything that could help me. Okay, let's go now. Pretty busy already here. I know this road very, very, very good. I did this two, three times every day when Luca was here at the hospital. 23 days. Hello, beautiful people. I went to the hospital. Now Sara went uh, to have a massage and I'm walking with Luce. She fell asleep. She's sleeping in there. It's raining a little bit, uh, it's super cold, uh, but uh, she's enjoying uh, She's sleeping like a little baby. <laughs> and uh, I'm doing my exercise for the day, about uh, four kilometers uh, walking. So basically in one hour, when Sara will finish uh, her massage, I will be done uh, with my workout for the day and uh, we will be able to go back to Lucky Land uh, all together. So the tram that Lucia loves. Uh, she loves uh... Anyway, have a beautiful day. Remember, every day is a gift. Uh, also when it's cold uh, and raining, uh, it's okay, it's okay. There is always somebody enjoying the day. Here in Torino, in uh, 2006, I believe, uh, we had the Winter Olympic Games. Uh, and uh, here is where we had the torch uh, up there. We used to have the fire. The Olympic torch and the Olympic fire up there. This is the stadium where they were doing the celebrations, uh, the inauguration and uh, all different things. And uh, in that building, big building over there, that is called uh, Alpitour, that uh, I believe is the biggest one uh, it's the one who feeds most people in Italy. I don't remember if it's just in Italy or also in Europe, but it, it's huge. Is where last week or two weeks ago, I don't remember, we had the eight ATP, ATP finals. So if you love tennis, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, they did it there. They are still removing uh, some uh, some things from there okay i'm halfway of my four kilometers walk it's, it's still raining it's still freezing but uh it's half done so now i just need to walk back to sara uh, where she will finish the massage load everything uh, in the polo in sara's car and then we can hit the road and go back to Lucky Land uh, where it's nice and uh, cozy and warm. Ah, I'm freezing. Alpitour. There you go. Pal Alpitour. Okay, ah, you can see there the Olympic uh, logo. So probably it was in here as well. Not only there in the stadium, but uh, probably they were doing it 
in here. Okay guys, I will keep walking and I will catch you later. Have a beautiful day. We are back home, we changed Luce and uh, it's raining, it's cold, but the house is nice and warm. Right Luce? What do you think? It's nice and warm? <laughs> yes? Yes, little baby girl? And uh, now I have my results from the hospital, so I will go downstairs in the kitchen and see the results and see my <laughs> my medicines, my medicines, do you say, for the week? So all the pills I need to get for the week, I will put it nice and organized because my memory is not good so I need to have everything organized as otherwise I will forget to get my pills so with help of this beautiful wife of mine and this beautiful daughter of mine I will do everything possible to recover right Luce? do you want your daddy to be fine and bring you all over the world uh, exploring in some adventures yes you want yes you want yeah. As you can see here, I have all the days of the week. Now I need to basically get all my pills, uh, my meds uh, and put it in there. You can see how many I have to get every day. So now I have my schedule for the day and I will put it all in there. Okay, so I have one and a half. So. get used to this uh, because uh, I didn't use uh, meds uh, and all these uh, pills uh, and uh, now it's part of my life so now I have all of the week uh, full this is crazy but it's part of my life now so it's better I get used to it Lucia, are you hungry? Give me my food. Give me my food. What are you eating, Lucia? Zucchini, mm -hmm. egg. And we have plum, pear, and apple. Wow. And then there is also, we are waiting for the artichoke to pull down a little bit. Yeah, we boil it. Uh, so. Yeah, and they will, she will try it for the first time today. First time the artichoke. But I love it. You better like it. Capono. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. How is the artichoke? Weird. The 
piace amore? How are you feeling today, Luca? I'm feeling great. Uh, I love uh, this beautiful sun. Uh, and uh, you have been asking us uh, in the live stream uh, how's the garden, how's the house uh, to show you around. So we will take advantage of this beautiful sunny day. It's not so cold. Uh, I mean, the, the wind is a little bit cold. The, it, it was below zero Celsius uh, last night. Uh, we woke up, uh, there was some ice uh, all over. <laughs> But, uh, but now it's uh, in the sun, it's really, really, really nice. <laughs> Luce loves to go and explore outside. And stay outdoors and sleep outdoors and be outdoors, so it's perfect. Yes, uh, so let's show you around. Let's go. Beautiful mommy, beautiful Luce. Beautiful mommy, beautiful daughter. Uh -huh. Okay guys, it was sunny. It is not sunny anymore. It's cloudy and it seems like it's going to snow very soon. We don't know, but it's pretty cold. Even if uh, autumn and uh, winter are not my favorite uh, seasons, it feels so good to be here, to be back home uh, after 23 days in the hospital and uh, one week uh, at my mother's house uh, in Torino. They were so long for us uh, being uh, used to stay here, be here, especially Sara that she had to run uh, from my mother's house uh, to the hospital back and forward uh, Lucia and me now to be here is so special for the new ones uh, on our channel I bought this house uh, in 2011 from an auction uh, more than 11 years ago basically this year 2022 we renovated the house it has been a, a huge challenge because we renovate the house uh, just after our little daughter Lucia was born so it was a huge challenge but uh, we love this place uh, it's isolated uh, it's quiet uh, we love this uh, I mean even if we have been through all of these um, scary situation being far away from the hospital from neighbors uh, other people uh, seems uh, crazy seems dangerous uh, it's actually what we love uh, and uh, now that I'm under meds uh, and uh, we know what to do if we see the symptoms uh, and uh, we know where to where to go, which hospital to search, uh, they already have all my history so they exactly know what to search and what to see to see if uh, it's something dangerous or not uh, and knowing the symptoms uh, we can just get the, in the car and drive uh, directly to the hospital without waiting until it gets dangerous uh, and uh, then it happens what it happened to me. It's crazy how I love uh, every little thing about this place, uh, every little plant. Uh, Sarah and I, we have been planting so many trees and plants uh, over the past uh, years. Uh, we love to make long-term uh, projects uh, because when you plant a tree, you know that you will have to wait sometimes uh, eight years uh, or more to start uh, picking the fruits. If you start a plant from zero, from the seed, I mean, uh, I like and I love to do projects where I can think about the future and leaving things uh, to our daughter, Lucia. This place really makes me feel so good. Here on our property we have apple trees, uh, pear trees, uh, olive trees, uh, walnut trees, uh, tomatoes, uh, 
we still have artichokes, uh, we have um, apricots, uh, we have uh, prunes, potatoes, I mean grapes, uh, so many things growing and it's so nice, cherries, for sure forgetting a lot of other beautiful things like this lavender so good it's nice it's nice to be back here we are in the season where it's sunny and then suddenly it's cloudy and uh, who knows probably it will start uh, snowing tonight uh, so the weather is a little bit crazy right now but still it's beautiful it's amazing to be here good morning guys Today, finally, after six months waiting almost, we got our windows. So we are about to complete also this project inside the house renovation project. So there are only three windows, one upstairs and two in the laundry room. So the laundry room would be uh, nice and warm and cozy and Lucha's room also. So it will be almost ready for you. <laughs> Are you pointing at them? What do you want to say, Lucha? Uh -huh. <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people. This morning we are changing the door. That window. And uh, another window upstairs uh, because uh, we are putting new windows with uh, three layers uh, of glass and uh, they are more efficient uh, since here it gets super cold during winter so it's an exciting day And up here in the guest room where we build the Murphy bed we will change also this old window this one you can see is one of the new ones and uh, this window also will be three layers of glass one of the new ones beautiful so this is how it looks from the outside right now and uh, you will see the difference with the new one. We are also removing uh, these old ones uh, and putting new ones because these are not insulated. So upstairs uh, and up here we already remove this one. We will be replacing it. Step number one, open it. Remove that piece. Step number two, breaking all of that. And remove it. And uh, here's the result of the little window. Here is the little space where we have all our batteries. Uh, basically, three lithium batteries, uh, the inverter. One day we'll be making a video about that. Soon, hopefully. And here is the door. 
on uh, Monday they need to finish uh, all of these details uh, on the side uh, and this is the result uh, in Lucia's room uh, the guest room yeah you can see here they need to come on Monday also to finish uh, to fix that uh, and all the corners uh, also downstairs uh, they need to finish that uh, and then we have to retouch and finish the drywall as well yes. and to paint again in this room if you enjoyed today's episode please share it to us smashing the thumbs up button hit the notification bell and please consider subscribing to this youtube channel if you haven't done already the italian words for today's video are finestra window porta door nuova new finestra window porta door nuova new we love you beautiful people we appreciate you thank you for coming along with us and we will see you next sunday and remember la vita è bella life is beautiful ciao we ciao, love ciao. you ciao Lucia. ciao <laughs>